Welcome back to the latest anime news for the week ending March 7th, 2020, and I'll admit there's not too much this week. It's been kind of a, a quiet uh, week for anime news, but we do have a few things to talk about. Um, due to the outbreak of the coronavirus, uh, COVID-19 worldwide, a lot of Japanese kids are staying at home. Schools have been uh, canceled for a few weeks. Um, but also a lot of like kids' events and outings and things have also been canceled. So a lot of kids are kind of staying at home, unable to do much. And so the kids, uh, uh, the kids station channel and the Animax channel, both are premium anime channels in Japan, have announced that they're going free from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. through the rest of March, so the kids who are staying home can at least watch anime um, and not feel bored the entire time. Really, really nice. And also, um, uh, just to give you an idea, uh, Kid Station broadcasts Pokemon, Yokai Watch, Anpan Man, etc. Animax has Dragon Ball. Uh, at that time, I got reincarnated as, as a slime, which seems like it might be a little kid unfriendly at times, but whatever. And Lupin the Third Part Two, which is definitely not very kid friendly a lot of the time, but whatever. Um, uh, this is a trend actually in a bunch of other um, uh, a bunch of other companies. Um, Shogakukan's uh, Sunday Webry manga website has announced that they're putting a bunch of their uh, uh, manga for free. Um, Shueisha um, uh, is also posting back issues of its uh, magazines for free. Um, and so just in general, folks are kind of giving away content to kids uh, as they're kind of having to, to deal with this in kind of a trying time. So good on them for that. Well done. Uh, moving on, uh, the Shirobako film opened. Uh, uh, recently, and good news, it came out at number three in the box office, office uh, earning about $1 million U.S. equivalent, which is pretty darn nice. Um, it opened in 158 theaters in Japan last Saturday. Uh, it actually sold less tickets than the number two film, but Shirobako's tickets were more expensive, so it kind of worked out anyway. Um, uh film was directed by Tutomu uh, Mitsushima, whose most recent anime film was Girls in Panzer Dare Film. And uh, Shirobako earned a little less than that, about 90% of what uh, the Girls in Panzer film did, but still not too bad. The uh, agod.com website projects that the Shirobako film should earn about the equivalent of uh, US $9 million over the course of its run, maybe more. So here's hoping. Good to see that Shirobako is progressing nicely in terms of its fandom. Um, if you're a fan of Evangelion, good news, although you probably want to be uh, uh, more on the Japanese side for things, uh, the official Japanese Evangelion app, Eva Extra, um, is going to have Eva 1.0, 2.0, and 3.0 available on the app for free. So if you have the app, you'll be able to watch You're Not Alone, You Cannot Advance, and You Cannot Redo. Um, and they'll be available through the end of March on there. And if you want, you can also play Pen Pen's Arctic Adventure for free on the app. Because who doesn't want to do that? <sighs> um, um, also in coronavirus news, South by Southwest uh, was canceled this past week. Uh, bringing that up because Shinichiro Watanabe was going to be there uh, along with the two singers behind Carol and Tuesday. And so, unfortunately, that event is not going to be happening. So if you are into that, unfortunately, not going to be there. So um, here's hoping that this all gets resolved quickly and we can move back to all of that. Um, uh, uh, we, we can uh, move back to normal. Uh, but yeah, if you're looking forward to that, sorry. No South by Southwest. Uh, finally, Radwimps, the sort of slightly oddly named to English-speaking ears, uh, rock band behind the uh, the soundtracks for Weathering With You and Your Name has announced a world tour to happen this year, which will include the United States, Canada, and Mexico. So if you're a fan of Radwimps, uh, they'll be in LA, Dallas, Toronto, New York, and Mexico City in July. So uh, keep an eye out for that. Um, should be uh, pretty fun. They The band was formed back in 2001, um, and they did, uh, as mentioned, the... Uh, the soundtracks, the entire soundtrack for Weathering With You and Your Name. So uh, fans of that, look forward to that. Um, always good to see more Japanese acts touring the world and available to their fans. That's all the news for this week. Yeah, it's not much. It's kind of quiet. But uh, that's just kind of 
the week that was. So thanks for watching. See you next time.